Today we're going to speak about wires, electrical wires, how we can use them in each and every situation. All right, so let's get started. We're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity to join the party too. No catch, no money, no skills required. <laughs> Find on AC as well on a DC system. On an AC system, there is a standard. When you are wiring the installation for the, any device that you're going to plug in, you have to take in mind the cross section of the wire. So for the plugs, being these ones, the circuit has to be 2.5 mil square cross section. And for the lights, the cross section has to be 1.5. So this is going to be the gauge of the wire, the, the thickness of the wire. But on our side of uh, electronic for a beginning, electronic enthusiast, we're going to need loads of wires for our project. You know? So whatever wire you can lay your hands on is more than welcome. Store them somewhere, uh, save them, and you're going to need it for a future project. Like this one, you're going to see plenty of wires. I can make a wiring, a lamp, whatever, with this kind of cable. The related this. wire stuff. When you are working with wires, you're gonna need some kind of plier cutter to be strong enough to cut the wires. As well, if you are doing DIY uh, homemade electronical diagram for beginners as well, you're gonna need one of these pointy sharp plier for cutting the excess of soldering. Like in this uh, example here, you see this pin this big stuff pointing over here. Here you go. You see, this one is gonna be kind of big and bulky to cut it. But with this one, I can go all the way till the end and just hold to my hands and done. Yeah? So this is for the finest project, you know. This is not mandatory, but is an optional and good to have. And they are cheap enough. All right, moving along. When you are dealing with wires, you're going to need a wire stripper. Mine is kind of overused and stuff, but you get the point. With this one, you insert the cable in the front here. And this one, I'm using it like manual in here and strip the isolation from the wire. And then you can uh, use it properly. If you want to solder some wire, this is just onto DC side. You're going to need a soldering iron, some kind of uh, wooden wool to clean the tip. Um, the soldering paste, fluidor is called, and another compound, flux or resin, like this one here, that's gonna make the connection between the hot thing and the 0 0.3 I got here, diameter, yeah, all right. So this is just for solder. I got a video over here with explain more in detail how to solder and all this stuff, all right. Okay, in the video of today, I have this old uh, HDMI cable, but as you can see here, the, the leads are very corroded, so this one is not going to be useful as a HDMI cable. But nonetheless, we're going to cut them and we're going to reuse the wire. Alright, so let's get started. Let's 
Alright, the pairs. I got the pairs over here. We're gonna stretch them as well. These are rough. These are a little bit, a little bit tougher. I'm gonna stretch them as well. Don't worry, they're not gonna feel nothing. So look inside the HDMI cable, how many goods we managed to find. This one, this is worthless. This one could be used for something, but still worthless. These two, mm, maybe. So we end up with this one. Imagine just from one HDMI cable. If you're gonna have loads, that's it, you're saved. And you got loads of wiring for your projects. One more thing before I go. If you are dealing with wires like so, you have to keep in mind continuity test, which has got this symbol over here. This one over here. This is the continuity test. I got a video which should be here on in the description below. When you are dealing with wires, any kind of wires, continuity test is a must. Here you go. When you hear this sound, you got continuity. When not, that's it, you have a broken wire somewhere, somehow. Thanks all for watching. In the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Ciao!